Hey y'all, it's Simonish. If you're new here, welcome. If you are not, welcome back. Today, I have another episode of the Hitman Legacy. And this episode is kind of going to be more chill. I don't really have much planned for them, but I am going to get them to complete a few of their goals for their aspiration and complete some of the homework that they're going to have due by the end of the week. Marcel is actually on his last semester and he will be graduating in about the next two episodes. So that's really exciting because I do plan on having them move. I definitely do not want to keep them in Copperdale because that's kind of old now and I like to play in another world. I also think this episode I'm going to get Carly to quit her job because it just doesn't make sense. They're both literally making more money doing their hobbies that they want to do rather than going to these jobs that they really don't even need. But since I don't have that much to talk about for the beginning of this episode, I'm just going to show you some updates that I've done with some of The Sims. Okay, so as you can see, I edited Julia Wright. She is so cute. Like, I am obsessed with a lot of her outfits. She just looks, you know, a little different. So this first outfit is her everyday look. Being that Julia has the traits that she has, I kind of see her as being like a goodie, not a goodie two-shoes, but a good girl. So I kind of took her look and I kind of made it that way. She's still really pretty and I really love her outfits. I just wanted her to be more conservative. And I also did some more editing with Jeb. So those two are fully remade by me. And I'm just really excited I got that done because the more Sims that I get to edit, the more my world looks a lot better. So without further ado, we're gonna get into this gameplay. Carly actually has class in two hours. She has completed all her homework in the last episode. So now it's just submitting a term paper and taking her final exams. Marcel's over here too, and he doesn't have any class today. So I'll probably focus more on him today than anything. And then focus on Carly tomorrow because she only has one class. I'm just going to get Carly to do her hygiene for the morning. Now that she's done with that, I'm gonna get her to clean this nasty toilet. Marcel, the last time, wanted to write a fantasy book, so I'm gonna have him write a fantasy book instead of writing anything because he did say he wanted to do that the last time. Okay, here we go again with the name of the book. So I'm gonna title it The Wizards of Yolu. I don't know where Yolu came from, I promise. I just made that up. And of course, I don't describe the books that well. So this is a fantasy book about wizards in the magical land of Yolu. So while he's writing that, I'll focus on Carly. She's done with that. I need her to come over here and clean this too. I'm so sorry, girl. <laughs> and this is probably stale. So probably can get her to clean that up as well. And maybe before she leaves, I can get her to quit her job. <laughs> ah. Yes. And now she's about to go to class. Have her take notes. <laughs> I'll probably have him finish his term paper for the gourmet cooking as well because we're not going to have that stuff this time around. He's going to pass his class. He's going to finish his term paper. No playing uh -huh. around. Look who's hitting us up. Candy. I don't know. I feel some type of way after the females do him some type of way because Marcel is a good guy in my opinion. And for Candy to just up and say, hey, she wanted to talk to somebody else. Okay, cool. They weren't in a relationship, but like they were talking. I feel some type of way about that. But it's okay. I'm going to see if he um, has any interest in Julia. Let's actually check on that because I did edit her. And Carly is back. So I'm going to let Carly go for a jog since that's what she wants to do. I did plan on having her go to the gym anyway because I really don't have my Sims go to the gym a lot. So I don't, you know, I want to make it more realistic because I'm sure once I start playing with them by themselves, it's probably going to happen anyway. But she already wants to go on a jog, so I'm going to let her do that. And then her next class is in four hours, so uh, hopefully she'll be able to come home and... What? Oh, she's going... Oh, she's going outside. Hey, look, it's Sydney. Wait. 
It's Sydney. We're gonna stop jogging to talk to Sydney because like, how did you just pass him up? Apologize. Apologize? Apologize for what? How about ask about day? Apologize for what? Olaba, Flurbus. So, so. <laughs> Can y'all turn to each other and talk? Uh -huh. So I really want to get to know him more because I don't think that they really even know each other. But I kind of want to talk a little bit more as well. She can brighten his day instead of apologize, because I don't know what we're apologizing for. Well, I guess he's gone, so she can go jogging again. <laughs> that was really nice, I guess. You know, just saw him on the past by, ask his ask about his day just check on them see how he's doing i do want them to get to know each other a little bit more because they went to prom together i just don't understand how did they not even really know each other checking back on marcel i know he got paid for his books but how much maybe like five six five six hundred dollars i did not see how much he got paid and he's almost done with that book which is gonna be great because he only needs to write one more book for this tear in his aspiration yay milestone complete so he's on the third tier okay so now he has to publish 10 books write five excellent books like he just did or maybe it was good books but now these are gotta be excellent this one says excellent so he must be already in that category we're gonna have him publish that and then i'm gonna have him do his term paper edit term paper it's poor. Okay, so edit that one. Candy's calling. Let's answer that. Guess what? My date with Asao Kato went very well. Congrats. I literally stopped what I was doing to answer the phone for you just for you to tell me that. So I'm, gl I'm glad that worked out for her. I'm glad that worked out for her. That's good for her. I'm gonna have her go freshen up a bit. Oh, wait, can she not? Oh, I clicked on the wrong thing. <laughs> have her freshen up. And then she can use the bathroom. She's hungry. Let's see if we have anything in here. Oh, there's slices of pizza. I really want her to send a flirty text to Jeb. Even though he's not flirty. But she doesn't know that. So, she's flirty. Did she? What? Okay. She can't do that right now. Well, maybe she can. Just go ahead and send him a flirty text. Wait. Do that first. And then repair. You're gonna have to get some food later, my girl. Oh. Okay. I see you're in a good mood. Maybe we should head out and grab a drink. Oh my gosh. <laughs> But she has class. I'm upset. She has class. And I don't want her to miss class. That's irresponsible. Should she miss class? Should we do that? <laughs> we have a dilemma here. And you know what? I'm just I'm just gonna do it. So we're here. Unfortunately, I think I have a real dilemma. There may not be anybody to work at the bar because I installed some mods. And I think I had to have NPCs around to even be bartenders. So let's see how this goes. If not, I'll just do what I have to do and then get back to this. Okay, so we're just gonna give him a hug for one. So. <laughs> oh, look at the butterfly. <laughs> She's not supposed to be sweaty. I I wanted her to freshen up. If I knew she had to get in the shower, I would have let her get in the shower. They're not gonna be able to grab drinks. We're just gonna um, we're gonna flirt. That's what we came here to do, right? Goodbye. No, we're not saying goodbye. Oh my gosh, I thought he was like un. Oh. Now she knows he's unflirty. I'm glad you don't think my llama jokes are getting old. I feel like you just get me. Dang, she is gone. Where is she going so fast? Look how fast she's running. 
I've never seen this before. <laughs> okay, before I continue, I have never seen a sim run like that, ever. I've seen them be scared and run inside, but they're always doing that little weird thing with their hands and their face. I've never seen a sim run like that. That just killed me. So I'm gonna have Carly take her notes, as usual. I'm sure he did not finish what he had to do. So it's normal. So, yeah, maybe we can... So yeah, if it's... His term paper is normal, so that's good. It doesn't have to be excellent, especially if, you know, we got other things to do. So since Marcel's the only one here, I'm gonna have him do what she was supposed to finish doing, which was repair that toilet. I honestly don't think he ever did brush his teeth, so I'll have him do that too. And he's pretty hungry, so I'm gonna have him eat a slice of pizza and watch some sports. I can't get over the fact that Candy really just did what she did, said what she said. So I'll probably have him send a little text to Julia. He's sleepy. It's literally 2.30 in the afternoon. Carly's class is almost over too. Ooh, she can sing. Carly's back, so we're gonna clean that up. And then have him take a nap. So I know I want Carly to go to the gym, so I'm gonna just have her have a salad or something. So yeah, a garden salad. Leroy. Ah. And he's gonna take a nappy oh. nap. I wonder what happened to Jeb when we were there because he kind of just disappeared and I know I said goodbye but he must have had like work or something or maybe he had class ah. isn't he in school too no he's not well at least she knows Jeb now so yeah that salad does not look good what is she watching I've never seen this before I have never seen this before what is this <laughs> It actually looks interesting. But is this- Oh! These are like my sims. I wonder- I wonder what channel is that? TV Classics maybe? She's also- Oh my gosh, if she breaks one more thing- If she breaks oh, one more thing, I'm telling you. And she's getting kind of sleepy too. I'm probably gonna have her- um, Dang, I wanted her to go to the gym. Or maybe I'll have her take a nap and then kind of go to the gym a little later. Okay. I'll probably wake Marcel up at 5 since he's back in the green. Let's go to the Humor and Hijinks Festival and check out the fireworks. I hear they have the best fireworks show in town. Unfortunately, friend, I'm tired. I don't feel like it. Oh, I didn't even wake him up. But exactly what I was going to do was wake him up. So I'll have him start writing his term paper for algorithm and depending on how long he does that maybe I can figure something out with him and Julia I hate to keep setting him up with these females and then they just they're just butts they're buttholes why would Candy do that she's even worse than Becca I'll probably have Carly wake up at seven if she doesn't wake up by herself and then go to the gym she's gonna be stinky anyway so I'm not gonna have her take a shower until she gets home or at the gym. I guess I'll have her go alone since she kind of did see Jeb earlier. And it's not like they're gonna do any flirting at the gym. I mean, they could, I don't know, but that's not where I wanted to see them meet up, really. So yeah, I'm just gonna have her travel to the gym. Okay guys, um, so this is Lifestyle Gymnasium. I think I created this back when I had my original family, the one that I'm always talking about. I created this gym and if you guys want to download it, it's on the gallery under my name, Simranish. Funny enough, I keep everything that I built for that generational gameplay the same. So like this gym was there, that park was there. That dessert house was there, and this was there. That's Tamara's, the place that we downed out in a few episodes ago. But I always keep them right here in New Chris. Every time I do a new save, I just keep them in the same spots. So this is the back of the gym. In the gym, I just have a few different things that they can work out on. Punching bags, 
treadmills, whatever those things are. This is the woman's bathroom over here. In here, there are showers. Oh, there's a floor missing there. And in here, there are bathrooms. This has not been redecorated in I don't know how long, so a lot of things look pretty plain, but it's okay. And the guy's bathroom looks exactly the same. I have a few chairs here, TVs, a little lounge area. There's also a lounge area out here as well. This is the entryway. There is a yoga room, meditation room or whatever. This is like a kitchen area. Not really a kitchen area, but as you can see, it has like some snacks in there. Not in my idea, like in my head, these are like healthy snacks. I don't know what they really can get out of there, like sandwiches and Cokes probably, but this is supposed to be like a healthy area. There's a microwave, um, there's a coffee pot, and there's just tables in there. The music is actually very loud here, so it kind of conflicts with every piece of music in here. But yeah, there's the yoga room again. I guess there's a little hangout area over here too. Oh yeah, right outside the yoga room. Okay, cool. And my favorite part is this basketball court. Every single time I reload this game, I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know what happens to them, but there are supposed to be basketball goals. So I have to add those in because I do like my Sims to play basketball when they come here. But for some reason, every time I'm here, the goals are not there. And then this is just a little waiting room too. I assume for like this gym can also, it's just, it's just like a chill gym. It's not just a gym. It's like, you know, everybody comes here to play basketball. Some people come to do yoga, you know? So yeah, that's pretty much it. Then I got this little side one too. So it says it's cold outside. I'm not going to have her go outside. Usually I have my Sims go outside to work out. I just, I like that view better. But it's pretty cold and I'm going to just have her come run on the tre treadmill. I had a feeling she was going to get flirty here. But who is she? Who is that? Oh my gosh. Who is this? He is not cute. He's a young adult. He's got to get edited because I can't. No. No. <laughs> he seems not interested. Oh my gosh. She is sturdy. So she can go take a shower. She's worked out good enough, I guess. Um, yeah, she's taking a shower now. Well, at least she knows him now. So they can. I don't know. I don't even know. <laughs> they can talk, I guess. Go to the gym together, maybe. Um, maybe that's like a little thing they can do. And. Maybe he won't be so bored and uninteresting next time. But, um, we can exchange numbers, maybe? After she takes a shower. I know he has to use the bathroom, but I don't care. That's not my problem. Who is Roy Dillon? Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. So this is Roy D. Dillon, and uh, she's attracted to him, too. I... Now, he looks way better. So before she leaves, she's going to go ahead and introduce herself to him, too. <laughs> Let's see what he does. Oh, okay. Well, we'll do a... A friendly introduction to him. Okay, we are not <laughs> going to sit here together. boy. Yeah, let's get to know some of these people because she doesn't know this man. Oh, accepts his advances. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. This has never happened for her before. Carly is under the impression that another sim has their gaze fixed directly upon her. With a glimmer in their eyes, it's plain to see that Roy D. Dillon has an intense interest in Carly. If Carly tries to push things to a more intimate level, they may have a good chance of success. Is Carly going to accept Roy D. Dillon's advances or ignore him? Look. <laughs> She's flirty, so she can do whatever she wants with him for the next hour. Okay. She's all showered up, so maybe we can go get something to eat, maybe? But this is really weird since she just kind of gave him his number two. <laughs> I'm gonna go out to eat with him. <laughs> what the? Girl, what is wrong with you? You doing too much. But look, it's Julia. She works here, apparently. <laughs> I guess we can sit inside this time since last time I sat outside. So yeah, we're gonna sit over here. All these people in here dancing like this a dance party. Y'all better get ready to serve. Y'all should have had y'all pre-shift before we got here. What is he doing? 
All right, so we're here together, and I'm going to have her order for the table. Yeah. <laughs> for her, since she just, I'm trying to keep her looking good for a little bit. She's going to have, well, is there anything to drink yet? Yeah, whiskey sour. And I guess we'll have one too because there's nothing else to drink here. That's on me. I guess she'll have some grilled chicken. I guess we'll have the steak. Me. <laughs> so I'm gonna have her also get to know him a little bit because she has no idea who this man is and she just went out with him like she does. She learned that he hates children. Well, she better be careful with that. And then ask about interest. <laughs> She's gonna go ahead and ah, confess her attraction uh -huh. towards him. I think she she might as well do that. Get some flirting in while she has the chance. Exchange numbers also. Or maybe they can do that later, like before they leave or something. Alright, y'all. Y'all need to eat this food because um people got class in the morning. <laughs> So now I'm gonna go ahead and exchange numbers and we're gonna finish drinking these drinks so we can get out of here And then maybe tomorrow we'll see where things go She better hurry up and drink this drink because it's time to go love So we're gonna go ahead and end the meal and pay the bill and then Kiss him Because why not? Oh, and it's oh, I love the music here. Okay so cute <laughs> what was that noise um can't really do that because she doesn't have a bed but i'm gonna hug him and then we're gonna head home so we're back at the house and Carly really has to use bathroom so I'm letting her do that but then she needs to go to sleep and Marcel also has to use her bathroom but I'm gonna have him eat first because it's already five o'clock in the morning he's gonna have to go to class soon yeah he has class in three hours and what time is her class she <laughs> oh she gets to go to sleep she has 10 hours before she has to go to class okay now he's finished eating so clean that up use the bathroom and then i'm gonna have him until it's time for class i'm going to have him continue his term paper that's all he has been doing <laughs> yeah his last class is gonna end at 12 25 and we're gonna go take him out with julia today so marcel has finished his writing his term paper for the algorithm class i'm gonna have him um, send a happy text to Julia. We really have not gotten to see Julia. We only saw her at the diner. <sighs> wow, he made $811 from his... Oh my gosh. Yeah, he did not need that job. So, Marcel's back. I have him about to send a text to Julia. It's 12.29 on the game now because... Wait, why? Oh, because he's probably not, like, happy anymore. But he could still send a text. <laughs> I also want I also want him to go give his final presentation so he can get that over with and he doesn't have to worry about that and Carly she can send a text to him huh. and then she can do her homework again she was doing great that's good and that's good hey I agree let's it's a great day let's go out and enjoy the day Sure. Oh, it is raining. Where's Totter Park? What is this? What is this even? Is this where I live? This is literally where I live. Wow. So we're at Totter Park, which is literally just my house. But I'm having them go under the... Why does she not have an umbrella? Do, do I not get an umbrella? I'm going to sit under here and just talk for a little bit. Um, for one, you can kiss him since that's what y'all do. What is Marcel doing?
If he doesn't go give his final presentation, I will beat him up. <laughs> oh, wait. Did he say he was attractive to somebody? This girl? Well, let's do a flirty introduction first and then we'll go do that. How did they even get right here together? Hey, where's he going? Oh. Quick's Harfin. <laughs> Let's see if she's single, and if she is, we'll get her number, and then he's gonna go do that front turn presentation. And she is single, so let's just exchange numbers, and Carly has class in an hour. Should she just pull out her book in front of him? Like, dude. Where's, see, he's leaving. See, you shouldn't be doing your homework while y'all are trying to have a conversation. What are you doing? So now she's out here doing her homework alone because her crazy self wants to do her homework while we're trying to have a little datey day. It says he's coming back. That's him all the way over there. Oh no, this must be him running. I need her to leave it alone. Good Stop doing the homework. <gasps> Wait. <laughs> oh my gosh, did she miss class? No, she didn't. She has to go. I'm sorry. Sorry. Yeah, we're going to end that. Stop we have to go to class. Sorry. So, Marcel's first imp impression on Ayumi is he dislikes her because she's immature and she thinks that he's in dreamland. So, I don't know what to do with that. But, um, yeah, let's let's go home and then we'll invite Julia over. Alright, Marcel is home. We're gonna have him invite Julia. As for Carly, I know she needs to write a term paper. Well, actually, she can do her... Well, she did that one already. So she can just do her homework for violin or the sound of musical. And then she can write her term paper. <laughs> and why is he just standing outside? Please Sweet come inside. Hey, girl, come on in. Ooh, do y'all see her? She's looking good out there. Look at her. Styling and profiling. Okay. She is so pretty. So Marcel's out the shower. I'm going to have him give Julia a hug. And then, did I just see something nice here? A bold pickup line. Yes. No, why would you do that first? And Carly's going to come write her paper. She is so cute. Oh my gosh, I love her. <laughs> Julie. Oh. Oh, she's flirty. Hello. Oh, he can't do the bowl pickup line anymore. Oh. We'll compliment her appearance. Quas. Onyab. Where's Larkin? Bahira Inidi. And now they're both flirting. Yekla. <laughs> Ask if she's single, because I don't know if he's ever done that before. So he can flirt with her. And she's inspired now. She's no longer flirty. She is so cute. I can't get over it. Ask about her day for one, because we haven't done any friendly interactions. Yes. And then ask about her love life. He's still flirty, so he can still ask those kind of questions. And tell her a funny story. And then he can flirt with her again. He can go ahead and confess his attraction for her because she's getting flirty now. Ask her about her degree because I thought she was in class. I thought she was in school. Julia is majoring in physics at the University of Rochester. So, yeah, we go to Foxbury, but that's okay. Um, Ask about her hobbies and skills. And then ask her favorite color. They gain a sentiment together. Yes, enough. She likes painting. That's cool. His sister likes painting. Maybe they'll get along too. And she dislikes the color brown. Yeah. They can exchange numbers, but I mean, they already have each other's numbers. Oh, and then he could tickle her. That's so cute. 
Okay, so we're gonna Hola, just kind of end this a little bit because. Tipper, tripper. <laughs> oh, tipper, yeah. tipper, Aww, tipper. they are so cute. Oh. <laughs> they are so cute. <laughs> um. Oh. No. Yeah. No. Maybe. We. Okay, because. Okay, because I kind of want her to be, like, a good girl, you know? I don't want her to do anything, like, crazy. And, I mean, he's a, he's a good man, in my opinion. I don't think he's trying to come onto her too hard. Now, if she suggests anything, that's going to be on her. But I don't, I, I don't, even if she does say that, no, let's just not do that. Because, like, you know, conservative people don't, like, do that, I don't think. I mean, they probably do. Okay, so hopefully we can kiss her because i would like to do that oh make a move well what kind of move okay let's snuggle her right quick i really just i'm I'm enjoying this and i don't want them to go <laughs> away yet i also want him to kiss her like why is there not a kiss oh that is so cute that is so cute i have to get a picture i'm so sorry this is like so freaking cute oh quite bad. Aww. oh quite oh <laughs> Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and just give her a hug, and I'll have him let her go for the night and get him some sleep because <laughs> it's definitely needed. A break lent him. Quink, Mabuna. Count him yet. I love this. I love this for him. He finally found somebody who's worth it. Dana Arb, Wexa. What is going on here? I thought I said, okay, good. Now he can go to sleep. Okay, guys, I think this is a good place to end this episode. And I really enjoyed this one more than probably any of them so far. I'm just happy that they're finally getting out and they're finally interacting with more people and finding love interests. I don't know what happened in this episode to get that started, but I really wanted Carly to end up with Jeb and it seems like she has moved on to other people. I don't think it's serious between any of those people yet. Honestly, Jeb is her best friend and they may just stay best friends. That might be a deal for her but who knows where her love life is gonna go as for marcel i'm super excited that he's with julia they're not even together yet i do want to take him take them out on a date i'm not sure if i'm gonna want to do that in the next episode or more closer to once he finishes school so maybe they'll just kind of get to know each other and then once they're like really good friends then i'll go ahead and have them go on a date but you never know she may try something on her own and that might just change the whole aspect of everything Thing. but that is my plan for the next few episodes is just kind of get him and Julia closer and hopefully Julia does not do what Becca and Candy did because that that hurts my heart for him but I really enjoyed this episode if you guys also enjoyed it don't forget to like comment and subscribe and don't forget to return for my next episode I will always post something in the community tab for you guys to be notified like a day or two before usually a day I really want to get it to where I can upload faster but I am in school like I said the last time and I have work so it's a little hard for me to post every week but I do enjoy making this content and I do enjoy seeing how you guys interact with my videos so without further ado if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe turn on your notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video and I will see you guys in my next video bye